Welcome to the Green Wasp Removal YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be studying Vespula germanica wasps as the queen establishes a brand new nest inside an antique carriage barn in northeastern Indiana, USA. This germanica queen was first observed on May 28th of 2022 as she was entering a small hole in the side of a wooden barn. Uh, it looked like she was engaging in nesting behavior and so we started to track her and we've got her on video doing her thing, building her nest, raising her larva. Here in slow motion you can see what she's doing. She's actually bringing into the nest some wood pulp paste that she has created by gathering up wood fibers out in the wild and chewing them up and with the enzymes in her saliva she makes a great paper mache like paste and that's what she'll build her nest with and she'll create a beautiful paper-like structure for her nest and her larva and her eggs will be raised inside of that and she'll add layer after layer of paper-like material to this nest to protect it as it grows throughout the season and they collect this wood fiber from phone poles or old logs weathered fences or decks and you'll see them out there chewing away on fences while they collect their wood pulp and they bring it back to their nest. Here you see the queen's exit door. She always goes in through a different hole and she comes out through the top up here. She's going out to forage for more wood pulp to build the nest with and also for nectar for herself to feed on and protein for her larva to feed on. Here you can see her returning with pollen all over her back and that indicates that she was out feeding herself some nectar and this is why wasps are considered good pollinators and typically you don't want to kill them off for that reason these days unless they pose a threat to humans wherever they're located you can pretty much just leave them alone and let them do their thing in the environment. So once we identified where she was coming into and where she was exiting from, uh, we decided to investigate the nest and see if we couldn't see the very early spring development of a small Vespula germanica nest. This is the inside of that antique carriage barn. You'll notice someone years ago had put together some type of insulation on the walls in here, and that created kind of a perfect little cavity in the wall between the insulation and the outside of the barn. Behind the plastic in the wall cavity, we find a very lovely little germanica nest. This is a perfect example of the golf ball sized nest that they will make in early spring. It's only large enough to house the queen herself and a few of her eggs and larvae who will grow into the first generation of female worker wasps that will actually help build a much bigger nest throughout the season. Due to the tiny space it was in, this cavity in the wall was very small. We were unable to get a 360 look at this nest. Uh, we could only see it from one side and we could not see the bottom of the nest. We held up a vehicle key just for size reference. So you can see how small it is so far. Uh, that won't last long. The eggs hatch into larva and the larva we'll take a look at here in a minute. When the larva stage is over, they will put a silk cap over their cells inside the nest and they will pupate in there like a cocoon uh, for a period of time and then they will emerge as adult female worker wasps and then they will get busy fast and that nest will increase in size exponentially. Here we just take a minute to appreciate the beautiful colors in these wasp nests. Greens and grays and oftentimes different shades of brown. It all depends on what color wood they were utilizing to make their pulp which turns into a paper mache like paste and then dries into a very paper-like material and the the little nests end up looking like these beautiful little paper lanterns when they're at this stage and they actually feel like paper and the colors are just gorgeous I, I love the different lines of pulp that had dried across each part of the structure it was such a small space to work in that we couldn't get the larger camera underneath the hole of the nest to see inside it so we have to go get the scope camera and go take a peek inside with the scope cam 
the scope cam is great because it'll fit into any tiny little space that we can't get a regular camera into. Uh, this is what the scope cam looks like. It's got a viewing screen and a very long uh, fiber optic cable with a camera on the end and that allowed us to get in and take a good quick look here. There you can see the larva. Uh, it's already in a good developmental stage, the larva. These will be the first female worker wasps. And here we met the queen real quick because she was inside and she was not having any visitors that day. She uh, got very aggressive with us and was snapping at the camera and was uh, lunging and doing all of the defensive behavior uh, that would typically run any intruder off in the natural world. But of course, we kept staying there trying to get a look inside and she would not let us inside the nest to take a look. She did a good job as a mama wasp trying to run off a uh, very strange looking intruder. But uh, eventually we had to stop filming because we didn't want to hurt her because she at one point just leaped out of the nest and started attacking the camera directly. So uh, we didn't want to stress her out too bad. So we just backed off. Defensive behavior from wasps is, is pretty typical. They'll snap their mandibles, the, the big part of their the front of their, I don't want to say mouth, but it's it's a separate physical structure from the mouth, in fact, but it's a, it's like a lobster claw, and they will snap at anything that gets near them and lunge at anything that gets near them. Uh, usually that'll be other insects and things that will try to attack the nest in the wild, uh, but she eventually just uh, jumped right on the scope cam and <laughs> started attacking it, so we, we kind of let her alone from that point and thought maybe it'd be a good idea to put in a viewing window so we can watch the development of this nest. So we got some duct tape and a glass frame and we just taped it up in a position on the wall itself where we could just pull the plastic down whenever we want in the future here and take a peek inside and look at the nest without bothering uh, the mother wasp. This way uh, she will not try to come out and attack the camera because we won't get too close to her and it'll be easy for us to pull down the plastic and just look in there whenever we need to. You will see that over time that nest will take up the entire wall cavity space inside there. It'll be a long square oblong maybe rectangular structure whatever the space itself looks like that's what the nest will end up looking like because it'll fill that whole space. So check back with us now and again over the summer season. So as the nest grows, you can take a look at the progress videos we'll be uploading for this nest and also some other species. We'll be tracking the development of some that we have in captivity and some of their wild nests like this one, uh, wherever we come across them. That's it for today's video. There's more to come soon, so stay tuned and have a good one.